Watch OS 3 was actually just announced. This is the original Apple Watch, and we're going to be comparing the performance uh, of the original Apple Watch on both Watch OS 2 and Watch OS 3. Apple really touts performance as something that's going to be significantly improved upon with the third version of the Watch OS software. So let's run it through and compare some basic functions to see which device is software is better in regards to performance. So we have an original Apple Watch running Watch OS 2 and Watch OS 3. The device with the red band, the red sports band, is going to be running Watch OS 2, and the Apple Watch with the Milanese loop, that is going to be the Watch OS 3. So we'll start up by booting up the devices, uh, and we'll see how long that takes uh, to do. Just for clarification, the way this is filmed is with the same Apple Watch. Watch OS 2 is going to be recorded first, and then I'm going to update the same Apple Watch to, uh, to Watch OS 3 and do the same exact thing. So you'll see that the times are going to be different when I edit the video, but don't let that confuse you. It's just because one Apple Watch is being used, just the only difference is the version of the software. So still waiting for the OS 2 to turn on. And again, these devices, uh, the ones that you'll be buying moving forward, Series 1 and Series 2, both have a dual-core processor. So the reason why I'm doing this comparison is to, try to, is to try to show you what, if anything, there are in regards to improvements just built into the software with respect to performance. The uh, dual-core versions kind of, uh, some people have labeled it as the original Apple Watch being kind of like a beta test for Apple, and that the new dual-core uh, reason why that they released Series 1 with a dual-core processor is because they kind of realized uh, that there was a faux pas on their part uh, when they originally released the Apple Watch with a single chip, with the, you know, the S1 chip in it. And you can see here just by the time it takes to turn on uh, the Apple Watch original, just to fully boot up, uh, it's definitely a slow experience. Anyone that's used uh, an Apple Watch before kind of knows that in advance. So uh, now that the Apple Watch 2 has turned on, uh, let's go ahead and just type the passcode in. So now we're just waiting for it to fully uh, update, you know, by connecting uh, to what I've done today. So, uh, what we're going to do is first we'll open up uh, we'll open up weather here. And that requires obviously getting your location and then also um, downloading information. When this is being filmed again, uh, you may see some slight differences, but I'm trying to keep the experience exactly the same. The phone will be at the same place, um, and you can see that this isn't loading here. Still loading, trying to get the local weather in Boston. still loading and I apologize that there are some gaps in this video with respect to timing. I'm trying to not cut anything out to give you kind of the full sense as to how long uh, this experience takes on a freshly turned on device to see if there are any differences uh, between Watch OS 3 and 2. So that can sometimes uh, be a little bit cumbersome and now that's finally, finally loaded. So now we'll go back and we'll open up uh, activity to see what I've done today and we'll just look down at the steps I've taken things of that nature we'll go back to the home screen we'll open up the calendar and it says I have no events this week which isn't totally correct because there it should be pulling in um, 
some Facebook events which have not downloaded on OS2. So the next big thing uh, has to do with third-party apps. We've complained, I've complained about this a lot before, so let's go ahead and open up the Uber app. See how long that takes to load. And this is something that was always a very kind of big deal to me because, and this seems to be one of the fastest times it's loaded, but uh, it always takes a really long time with third-party apps. Uh, this was, again, the quickest I've seen it work. Let's go and we'll open up settings to see how quickly that opens. Again, this is all just a very slow process, lots of load screens. Um, so we'll go back to the, to the home screen. The last thing we'll do is use Siri uh, to see how long it takes to, to do a text message. So text Michael Sherlock. And so there you go. That is uh, the speed comparison um, between the two devices. Again, the red bracelet is running Watch OS 2, and the Milanese Loop is running Watch OS 3. One thing I want to mention uh, that wasn't really touched on in this video earlier, but is important to notice, is that one of the optimization features that Apple said was actually when you activate uh, the dock, you get uh, some of your applications that are chosen by how often you use them, those are going to be stored directly in the phone memory and will give you basically instant access to those applications. When we did the performance uh, test originally between these two things, you didn't really notice any improvements with just software in general. However, Apple does say that you will get better performance with applications that are in the dock because those are, like I said earlier, stored in phone memory. Uh, it seems Important to point that out though and to show you kind of, you know, when nothing is stored in phone memory that the performance is exactly the same. Uh, certainly this is a great feature and certainly this is going to make using the things that you use over and over again and most frequently a lot better. But Watch OS 3 kind of was advertised as something that is going to prov provide across the board performance improvements and with the initial test that you saw earlier uh, performance was about the same on both versions of the software so I think it's important to note um, that some of those performance improvements are going to be just with the apps that the operating system dynamically decides are the ones you use the most and are therefore always cached in phone memory. So there you go, a quick comparison between the software watchOS 2 and watchOS 3 to determine if there are significant performance increases um, with just overall usage on the original Apple Watch.